Beef, it's what's for every meal. Some people say no pain, no gain. I say no pain, no pain. <laughs> uh, I don't want to die. I mean, someday down the road. Okay. When I'm old and gray. I've seen great grandkids. I don't want to die anytime soon. Got to do something about this. I've been um, having some health problems. I've been dealing with some high blood pressure. And uh, about six months ago, I was put on medication, which I think has helped a little bit. But I've also had some issues with my fasting glucose being about 130 for about two years. And um, I went to the doctor again this last Monday, and it came back that my fasting glucose was about 130, A1C about 6.0. And uh, I got a message back saying, hey, we wanna put you on a statin and um, like an oral um, type two diabetes medication. And, and I knew that I had problems and I've been trying to diet and I've done well and, and then you fall off the wagon. It's like, I can go forever eat no carbs and do a keto diet or something like that and um, I do great and then I hit a wall and it seems like I eat three carbs and you know I gain 10 pounds immediately so I walk around you know a lot of people say I carry my weight well I mean I feel like I do like I do physical labor I move a lot of furniture for a living I uh, do a lot of cardio you know I've been running, I lift weights, you know, I, I, I go on stents, you know, I'm not doing it all the time, but I'm trying, but it's not working. And something about the doctor just saying, I'm gonna put you on medication, just kind of got me angry because not once did they tell me I should go on a diet. Not once did they say I should watch what I eat. All they said is, oh, we'll watch these numbers, right? But I knew there was something going on and knew there needed to be some changes and I don't know what to do. I don't think normal, just regular people, you know, I, I'm not, I think I got regular intelligence. Like, I don't know, some may disagree, but people don't know what to do. What do you do? And obviously it's gonna be different for all different types of people and their lifestyles, but it seems for me that if I eat carbs, I gain weight. If I eat sugar, I gain weight. If I eat fruits and vegetables, I mean, fruits and stuff with even natural sugars, I gain weight. Grains, starches, it just, I gain weight. A week going into that, I knew that uh, the doctor's appointment, was, that the doctor's appointment was on its way. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna do a little experiment and I'm gonna only eat meat, a zero, essentially a zero carb diet. Some people call it a carnivore diet. And so I go in and I get that blood work back and they said, uh, your cholesterol is really high, so you should probably be on a statin. And I'm like, well, I haven't told them yet, but I'm, like, I'm not surprised because I only eat meat for an entire week. Um, but a couple things I noticed happened. A couple days into it, oh, had some problems in the back end. And then I also had like a, you know, like the keto flu type symptoms where, man, I just felt like I had the flu. I had no energy. I just kept doing it. It's been, this is my 11th day, so I'm not that far into it. I'm 11 days in. 
I started it at 264 pounds and today I weighed in at 258. So I've lost a little bit of weight, but I did notice that after like when I'm running, I feel much stronger running already. When I lift weights, I feel much stronger lifting weights and I'm recovering way faster. I'm starting to notice that my brain is working faster. I'm starting to notice that I feel much better only after 11 days. And you know, I've kind of said a couple things about meat only, you know, carb, no, like a zero carb diet. And people are like, oh, you're gonna need nutrition and stuff like that. We'll see what happens. But the number one thing I need to make sure I do is I stick around for my wife and my eight children. I feel like I just have to do something. All right, day 11 of the carnivore diet. Fairly strict. Today I'm having steak and eggs. Steak and eggs, really? How is anyone supposed to live like this? Hey guys, thought I would <clears throat> just give an update of this no carb carnivore diet I'm on. It today is my 15th day on the diet. Um, I thought I was making progress. And uh, oh, by the way, I'm out here in the woods looking for morel mushrooms. Doing a little bit of exercise, and uh, yeah, it's that time of year I can't help but get into the woods and look around. I have not found any. But like I was saying, it's my 15th day on the carnivore diet here, and I think it's going pretty well. I, I'm, I was down seven pounds, and then I woke up today, and I was down only six pounds. And uh, I'm feeling a little full for some reason. And uh, I don't know if it's a lack of fiber or whatever. I'm not discouraged. I'm encouraged because I've had a lot more energy. But every once in a while I hit a wall. Maybe it's because I'm almost 44. Just feels like the progress is slow. You know, I'm hoping to go 90 days. And then potentially do some keto stuff because I like the garden. And I want to eat some fresh vegetables too. I haven't had many cravings. Um, the other day I was like, pizza sounds good. Then I was like, oh, well, pizza, like tacos sound good. But for the most part, you know, I could eat a nice steak and uh, feel great and be like, okay, I'm not hungry anymore. And and uh, I haven't, I haven't felt, uh, sorry, I'm looking, <laughs> you know, super hungry. Every once in a while I get a little bit hungry and I'm like, yeah. I'll just wait till the morning and you see how I feel. I wake up in the morning, I'm not even hungry at all, so that's nice. This is dinner for tonight on day 16 of the carnivore diet. Those are good. Day 28 of the carnivore diet for me. And um, I have done pretty well. You know, I. I I had eaten some mushrooms, which was pretty low carb, not actually no carb. And, uh, but then, you know, I was down seven pounds and I was down six pounds and today I'm still just down six pounds. I'm like, I stalled out and, uh, I was just kind of, um, like, why did I stall out? And then I just realized that I've been putting cream in my coffee and yeah, it's the amount of cream that I, you know, heavy, I'm putting heavy cream in my coffee and it says it's one gram of carbs per tablespoon and which is probably two. And I was like, how many do I put in there? Probably five tablespoons, the 15 tablespoons. Well, I'm like, or five to 10 tablespoons. So I'm like, well, that's 10 to 15 carbs a day. I'm like, I mean, it's pretty good, but compared to before but yeah so I cut out the cream still drinking some coffee um, another unfortunate mishap is that I found some morel mushrooms in the woods so yeah just so you can see these yeah it's gonna be really hard not to want to eat these I should be very careful but you know, it just gets me thinking like doing no carb is going to hundred percent is going to be pretty difficult, especially, you know, when there's, um, delicacies like this, you know, like morel mushrooms. And, uh, I know some people love mushrooms. Some people hate them, but I love mushrooms and 
the morels are the best they're hard to find it's the season but i'm not giving up so my goal is to do it for 90 days carnivore and just see where my my uh fasting glucose is at and where my a1c is at and uh, see if i can reverse this uh, pre-diabetes type 2 diabetes issue I'm having you know I've I think I'm pretty healthy I binge from here and there but the reality is is I eat way more carbs than I think I did I, I said that right I, I ate way more carbs than I thought I did even when I was trying to do keto and stuff things just creep in and uh, you know I lost some weight and I I'm having a hard time keeping it off so I need to real diet that's reasonable so i'm gonna go kind of aggressive for now and then i'm gonna see where i'm at see how long i need to go but obviously i need to keep it low carb carbs at this point in my life are just say it they're killing me really they it's you know another name for type 2 diabetes is you know carbo carbo carbohydrate toxicity and uh, just for meat and carbs my whole life, just a standard American diet, so they say. But you know, but now I'm trying. I'm trying to reverse this. I need to reverse this. I do not want to have to take insulin medication at all if I can get away from it, you know, because I'm pretty sure that then I have to eat carbs. Um, I need to reset my body and get to a place that I could eat a, a little bit of carbs, you know, 20, 25 grams a day, you know, every once in a while I have maybe something special, right? But I know for myself, you know, I like to treat myself and that's how I got to this point. <laughs> so, look for mushrooms again. And uh, I just need to be careful. But what I've learned is a lot. You know, my doctor never told me that I you know never told me that carbs spiked insulin protein spikes some insulin fat like none right and insulin is a hormone which I'm learning right and you know it helps move the the sugar in your blood into your cells and so over time you know if you eat too many carbs and I mean, it doesn't happen for everyone, but for a lot of people, you eat too many carbs, eventually you get a insulin resistance and you get that insulin resistance. And so your body makes more of it. And, uh, but then you get more hungry because spiking insulin when it comes down makes you hungry because, well, I don't know. I'd probably have to look that back up. I can't remember right now. But I just know that it's uh, like a vit vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle that I want to get off of. I want to, you know, I want to walk my I want to walk my daughters down the aisle one day, right? And everyone, you know, I thought you had to be just morbidly obese to have this problem, but that's not the truth, right? Most people would say, "Oh, Aaron, you don't look, you know that," right? Oh, let me stick it out. Yeah, I got the dad bod, got the dad bod. But my body just can't keep up. I'm almost 44 years old and it just can't keep up. So I gotta make some changes. You know, I have noticed a lot more energy. Every once in a while I have a low day, but more energy eating essentially meat and eggs. Not too many eggs, but <laughs> most mostly beef. Um, for the last 28 days, I have more energy, just more energy. I'm not as tired. I feel like I'm starting to sleep better. I actually, yesterday was the first day I had coffee with no creamer and I had like zero carbs, you know, all day. And I, I don't know if it was in my head, but man, I felt like I felt a difference. I just felt better yesterday. And same today, you know, I st my face still turns red for some reason, you know, not just with exercise, just when I get hungry or when I eat. Um, but for the most part, I felt like I had way more energy and 
I could sleep better and I don't know, yesterday was just a good day. I was able to get up, lift some weights, go running, and you know, I'm not trying to overdo it, but man, like, I'm not as soft as I was, you know? I've always been fairly strong, but you know, I've, I've moved furniture for 20 years, and um, I'm strong, but a little soft. Thought I'd do a quick check-in on my no-carb diet slash carnivore diet. I don't know why I said slash, but yeah, so I've cut out the cream, which was making me, I think, hover around, you know, six, seven pounds loss. And uh, today is day 38, and I'm feeling pretty good. I've uh, Yeah, I, as of this morning, I was down 12 pounds. So 38 days, 12 pounds. Yeah, it just, uh, I don't know what the deal is, but, you know, it seems like I just started dropping weight again. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm almost 44 years old, but I feel better than I did before. That's for sure. Um feeling like I'm on, uh, on, a, on a high. I have more energy, don't feel as lethargic, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it at this point, you know. Um, just kind of dial in what I should eat. I'm eating mostly meat. Um, I've been throwing a little eggs in here and there, but mostly just steak, just beef steak. Um, I tried leg of lamb and roasted that, but it was like the braised meat for some reason just isn't as palatable as I'd like. Um, yeah, I bought some brisket and tried to cut that into steaks and it was so tough. <laughs> so I ground it. And so I've been eating with that with a little bit of eggs and uh, yeah, Last night, it was the first night that I ate breakfast, and then I ate lunch about 3 o'clock. And then I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to eat dinner. I was not hungry. Um, I mean, I wanted to eat, but I, I didn't really feel hungry. I felt like I wanted to eat something, but it wasn't a hunger thing. And I woke up this morning and ate breakfast, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> 38 days. When I started this, um, I was thinking maybe 30 days, and now I'm thinking, you know, I want to see where I'm at at 90 days, and uh, maybe do some, you know, ketovore stuff, but I have to stay off the carbs and the sugars. I just can't. I just feel like my body can't handle it, and if I'm going to be serious about reversing, you know, my pre-diabetes, you know, borderline type 2 diabetes, my insulin resistance, I, ha I have to get serious and just stay off the carbs until my body can heal itself and then, you know, maybe have a little bit here or there. I enjoy gardening, so it's kind of hard to, you know, a motivation to grow nice fresh fruits and vegetables and, uh, yeah, just give them to the rest of the family. So my goal is to get this taken care of and heal my body so I can have a little bit of vegetables and just, you know, low or no carb items and just really paying attention to what I put inside my gullet.
So, I didn't feel like running today. <sighs> I mean, I probably should have, but I just decided to go on a three and a half, four mile walk instead. I've been having a little problems with my foot and actually one of my hands. I don't know if it's this arthritis or what it is, but yeah. I was just gonna walk and uh, have a busy week at work. It's gonna require a lot of physical activity and I don't wanna overdo it. But I don't wanna do nothing. So, gotta get a walk in, try to get some push ups in, which, you know, a few months ago, before I tried to start it lifting weights a little bit yeah. I might have been able to do 10 and I would have felt like I was dying I could, I could rip out 25 easy multiple times and uh, just with a little bit of recovery yeah I feel great so my goal is to do some check-ins on my diet about every 10 days. So yesterday was day 50 for my no carb carnivore diet. And um, you know, down 15 pounds. It's raining by the way. <laughs> down 15 pounds uh, from where I'm at. You know, I'm depend wondering you know, my goal is 230. I'm six foot three and a half. And, uh, we'll, but we'll see what my, you know, my body wants to do. Because I know I'm down 15 pounds, but I can, I can tell I gained muscle too from the exercise. So, I don't have any way to really figure that out, but. What I can figure out is that I feel better. Um, I've been having some cravings, sauteed onions. Then I think about it, I'm like, I think I remember what that tastes like. Probably sweet. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been craving sweets at all. Uh, yeah. I've been sous vide some meat. And, uh, that's been nice. Just kind of get the perfect temperature and do some searing on it and going from there. I was actually watching something on YouTube where the guy was like, he went to the, I wonder if you can hear this with all that water rushing, but went to the doctor and lost like 80 pounds. On one of the car on a carnivore diet, and the doctor was not happy with him, you know, because he's just eating meat. So I don't think it had to do with anything. Not happy with the guy's weight loss, but you know, the predetermined set of nutrition that people get stuck in, or stuck in, or you know, just uh, an affinity against. Uh, meat in general which you know I can understand where people stand on those things and um, I've gotten a long journey myself when it comes to how I look at meat uh, 
guess I won't go into that all, but I think it's wrong for us to eat meat and never feel any pain of the loss of the animal. It doesn't seem natural to me. I feel like it's ordained in the process to help us be thankful for what we have and not wasteful. But yeah, I digress. Hey everybody. Just got done with the morning run and uh, lifted some weights and uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Today is my 60 day check-in. I'm down 18 pounds, so that's almost 20. Obviously almost, <laughs> those of you can count. <laughs> A few cravings here and there. What for exactly? I don't know. <laughs> I like eating burritos. <laughs> so there's that for some reason. Oh, I just thought of refried beans. But I've been eating mostly beef and then I'm at eggs also with salt and water and uh, I was trying to be really mindful of what I'm eating exactly. I took my fasting glucose the other day, it was at 111, so that's down. Um, I did try some ground pork the other day just because it was on sale and I'm like I'm going to try this and if I like it maybe I'll grind up a huge pork butt and just use that you know um put some salt on it i have added a little bit of pepper every once in a while and um yeah i smelled some indian food the other day so i put a little bit of curry on one of my steaks and i was like just barely any and i'm like i felt like i'm cheating <laughs> having flavor which is totally ridiculous but because i know it's not going to affect but it's like I'm trying to be hypersensitive and super mindful of what I'm actually doing because it's, it's so easy to be like, I'm doing this, this, and this, but then you're really adding these other things because you don't register because it's just little things. So you gotta pay attention to the little things also. Um, but after eating that pork, I started having a headache. It was either the pork or, see now I'm at, I bought some beef liver. I'm gonna try this. I haven't had it in 20 years. Not that bad. So I don't, I don't know what it was. I just had a headache for a few days. Yeah, maybe I was dumping something, you know, from losing weight. But I feel good, you know, I'm feeling strong. I could start to feel that my shirts are getting a little looser. It's hard to tell here, but you know. I think, I feel like I'm definitely slimming up. Oh, there it is, right. And, uh, you know, I'm down 18 pounds, but I've been trying to work out a few times a week also. So, you know, maybe there's some muscle gain in there. So, is it all about the weight? No, I think it, you know, I was running to them just like, I was kind of dreading it. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of tired, rough, rough week. But it was like, I'm dreading it, but, I'm, but I like how I feel afterwards. I was dreading it, and also, and it was like, but I also know when I'm done, I like, like the fact that I did it. See, I'm still warm, my glasses are fogging up. And uh, I go out and I start running and I'm like, like da -da 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 -da, and I'm like, it's like, uh, I'm like, whoa, I ran way further than I thought before, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm still not breathing hard. So, you know, it's probably, my endurance is going up, my cardio is getting better, but you know, that weight drop, you know, I think is making a big difference. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm trying and I, I'm going to take a turn on this. But I had someone ask me yesterday, they said, well, they said first, I'm mad at God. And I was like, okay, I'm mad at God. I always tell people, yeah, God can handle it. I was like, why? It's like, because I feel like he's punishing me. And I'm like, because of this, this, and this, and this. And I said, well, God doesn't work that way. I said, unfortunately, the world we live in, you know, in the way that God designed things and the fact that we live in a fallen world, he said, I said, often, some, often the sin has its own penalty. God doesn't need to punish us you know, when we go off course and we do X, Y, and Z that he never ordained, there's inherent punishment, but it's not God doing it. And I said, 
he's like just you know he was down and I said but here's the here's the thing you're looking at this backwards he's like what what do you mean looking at it backwards I said you're looking at these few instances in your life where you feel like God's punishing you or things aren't going great. But have you ever looked at all the things in your life that are going great that you should be thankful for? I use great, you know, it changes for everyone, but what do you have to be thankful for? I guarantee there's way more than that, right? And it reminded me of a, a time in my life where I felt like I had everything I wanted. At a moment, really. I had built myself a little sound studio in my basement. I had my TV, uh, that I could, my video games, keyboards, my guitars. I had drums in the other room. I had my computer set up. I had a couch in there I could take a nap on. And I remember sitting in that room where I was laying on the couch. And I was like, I could just, this is it. This is the life for me. I got everything I want. I'm just content and I'm happy. Not to be weird, but I felt like God said, just open your eyes, Aaron. You're just laying here on a couch in a basement. <laughs> There's a whole world out there that's going on. And why do I bring that up when it comes to this low carb carnivore diet I'm on? Why do I bring that up? It's not about the diet as much as the fact that if I don't try or you don't try to be healthier, get in better shape. You don't, there's a whole world out there that you're missing and that you can't even partake in. And I'm not trying to beat on anyone with their health choices because it's not easy, right? This this is not an easy thing, but you're, you're missing out. You're stuck in where you're at. And there's a whole world out there that you can't experience because of the limitations of your health. Now, some of these things you can change. Some of them you can't. And that's where the thankfulness comes in, right? But the trying, the hope for potential is so valuable, you know, to your mental health, which we don't think about all the time. So today I'm gonna to be thankful that I have the ability to get up and run, have the ability to get up and work out, the ability to have a job where I can afford even just to eat meat, because some people couldn't do it anyway. The, the prices, everything are through the roof. I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen in 30 more days for my 90 day goal. I'm not quitting. <laughs> there's, no, there's no way I could go back to eating carbs and sugar, even though I really didn't do a lot. It adds up, it just added up and and I, I can't go back to it. I feel, I feel too much better. I've, I, I just, I feel so much better. I feel younger. <laughs> and I'm getting older. All right, well, thought I'd let you guys know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> 60 day check-in on the carnivore diet. All right, well, this is my day 70 check-in. It's actually day 71 because I uh, looked at my calendar wrong and thought it was today. I felt good yesterday. I was working hard and just uh, put my foot on the gas and just had energy stronger and expecting, you know, the scale to be lower. I'm down 22 pounds, but I was like, oh, maybe I'll hit 23 pounds today. No, still 22 pounds. I'm like, that's all right. You know, the weight's coming off, so there's nothing to be upset about. I know it'll, if I continue, it will just come off. Then I was like, okay, I'm gonna check my fasting glucose level, because last time it was like 103. And man, that was encouraging. And this morning it was 129. I'm like, really? Really? So I just find myself discouraged in that. It's like, well, I'm not giving up. You know, I don't know what that means. Obviously, I'm not a health professional. I'm just trying to get healthier and do the best I can. So, you know, I, I'm going to get in trouble for this, but I'm going to, I'm going to slap my belly.
that's for you, hon. 70 days, 71 days. And, uh, you know, I've had a few rough days that it was like, oh, a burrito sounds good. I'm always talking about it. Some rice, some pinto beans, I don't know. It's funny what you think about, you know. I saw someone in a hamburger, I was like, ooh, smash burger with American cheese and yeah. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm missing out by just eating meat. What did I do the other night? I cooked, I sous vide uh, some venison backstrap and some part of a, a beef tenderloin that I had in the freezer forever. And I did them both side by side and, and uh, I thought they were both pretty good, you know, but my family loved the venison more. I, I'm like, it's good because it was tender and stuff. and. I always like, oh, I want some more fat. So the beef had a little bit more fat, but I, I ate them all. <laughs> Thought they were good. I feel like I'm having less hunger pangs, which is nice. Um, trying to drink enough water because it's getting warmer out these days. But I don't know. This morning I was a little discouraged. Is to be expected that you're going to be discouraged from time to time when you're doing anything. If things don't go exactly what, the way you want or all the news isn't positive um, I'm just gonna take that discouragement and just like I'm gonna throw it out <laughs> and just keep going because I know there's gonna be a day that it changes um, will I end up having to get on medication I hope not but if I have to I'm gonna do it while my body is healthier I was thinking about you know I'm doing a 90 day challenge which is a long time but I just I got the inkling that you know, I just feel that like after the 90 days, I, I know I can't just stop and go back the way I was eating. I'll just go back to where I was. So I have to make sure that I continue. That being said, like I've said on some other videos, like I'm growing vegetables. <laughs> I, mean, I want a tomato that I grow, you know, I want to eat a couple green beans that I grew. Maybe a salad, right? But it has to be the exception, not the rule. And and if I introduce stuff, I want to make sure that um, I do it in a healthy way and don't just get off track. So I've seen videos where people say, you know, you got to realize that it's not just a a diet or a for a set of period of time or. You know, you gotta change your lifestyle. You gotta, it has to be a way of life. And it's like, okay, I can handle most of the time, but you know, sometimes you have these events with other people and they're eating all these things. And, and even if you're not, you know, craving the other food, it's kind of, everyone's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you just eating meat? Like, uh, don't you need vegetables and vitamins and all that kind of stuff? And, like, and then they want to know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Just because you're not, because you're a little different in that. And it's, I guess that's bound to be expected. And, uh, but it, you know, it's a little tough because sometimes you don't feel like answering all the questions. You know, so, all right. But yesterday was the first day that I saw someone that I don't see every day, essentially. I said, hey, hey man, are you losing some weight? I'm like, yeah, I'm losing some weight. And he looked at me again, he's like, you feeling all right? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm actually feeling great. All right, day 71 check-in. Yeah. Should I slap my belly again? Well, I thought I would do a check-in. It's day 81 of my no carb carnivore diet and uh yeah i'm a little hungry but then i'm like am i hungry or do i just want to eat i have to admit like i'm a little afraid that i'm gonna go through all this work do a 90 day challenge and then essentially fall off the wagon and uh end up gaining all the weight back i weighed myself this morning and i was down to 239 which would have been a, it's a 25 pound loss for me 81 days i have been working out too so i'm i'm not, like i'm not sure i have gained muscle mass but i do feel stronger and so i feel better way better i feel way healthier my 
mental stabil stability is way better. I went on a camping trip with my family and I was like, well, I gotta eat meat. I'm like, well, I took two giant chuck roasts and uh, sous vide them and uh, to perfectly medium. And then I just took them out there and it was like, I had roast beef if I wanted it or I just grilled it over the fire and it was great. You know, not to be weird, but I didn't poop for three days. <laughs> my stomach has felt great. I've had no problems, no indigestion, none of that stuff. Losing weight while not feeling completely defeated, defeated or depleted, I should say. I, you know, I've had people at work saying, oh, but you're, you're not overweight. You know, you don't lose too much weight. I'm like, well, it's not about losing weight completely. It's part of, about feeling better and about not having type two diabetes, you know? And I'm, I'm willing to suffer some, right? Just to get rid of that, you know? But, I, but what, I'm, what I'm really think, thinking and realizing is that my life is gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to stay away from carbs and sugars. And it's like, I think about that and it's like, oh, never. Well, when you start thinking never, that's never a good thing, <laughs> you know? No, I just have to change the way I'm thinking and the way I'm eating. And sure, would I like a salad every once in a while? Or a pot sticker? Yeah. But I guarantee if I ate some right now, I'd probably feel horrible. So maybe that's a good incentive not to. I got nine days left on this challenge, but I don't think I can quit. All right, so today is my 90 day on the carnivore diet check-in. And ironically, I'm sitting here cooking cabbage <laughs> with onions and peppers and garlic for the rest of the family. I'm not eating it. I'm gonna complete this challenge I want to say perfectly, but I've ate 99.9% .9 just mostly, mostly me. I had mushrooms at the start of it, but I cut out everything else. And it's been, um, you know, I did a weigh in this morning and I was down 27 pounds. And so I'm completing my 90 day challenge and I don't think I can quit. That being said, I want some pot stickers. It's like a bonus. This all meat diet has worked great for me. There's some, you know, with a big family, there's some hard things you gotta balance. You know, I've been cooking most of all my meals and prepping. So there's been difficulties, right? And you gotta make sure you don't get hungry. And so you don't cheat and finding out, are you hungry and all those types of things. But I would recommend it to anyone that thinks it might help them. Because being down 27 pounds, right? I don't feel totally healed. I still feel 44 years old, but I'm like, if I did 180, I have a, I have a feeling that uh, my body will react well to it and I'll feel better than I have in the last 15 years, maybe 20. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video, this carnivore Kobe Life video of me documenting my 90 days. A lot of rambling, I know it. Oh, I'm rambling now. But the carnivore diet 90 day challenge crushed it. Kill me out.